So this is the story here, it's sort of an old school blender that only has two buttons. One button says puree and one button says blend. And when the blades are going around at an angular velocity of 375 radians per second, that's when this button is in. But what happens is that when, you, when this button is in and then you push this button, the blades accelerate and reach a bigger angular velocity, greater angular velocity, after the blades have rotated through an angular displacement of this much, 44 radians. So it means the blade started at some angle and then went around. This 44 radians is bigger than six radians, which is a circle. So 44 is much, much bigger than that. 44 is going around the circle multiple times. And you can figure out exactly how big that is. Because, you know, going around the circle one time, that's six radians, this is 44. So I know that 42 radians then would be seven of that, right? So it's about seven circles or so. And we can calculate it exactly, but 44 radians is about seven times, seven circles. In fact, it's exactly seven circles, actually, 44 radians, now that I think about it. Because pi is 22 over seven, so this would be two times pi multiplied by seven. This is 14 pi right here. So that's seven revolutions. But anyways, so I started at this velocity and then this angular displacement happens during the acceleration where I'm going from pure puree to blend. And during that acceleration, during that displacement, the acceleration has a constant value of this much. Find the angular velocity of the blades when you're on blend. So I start out this fast. During this displacement, I accelerate by this much. What's the final angular velocity? You know how to do this. You're experts at kinematics. This is a pretty straightforward story for you. You say, what, are my, what is the segment I'm studying? I'm studying the segment from puree to blend. So I start here and I end here. Kinematic variables are the angular displacement, the initial angular velocity, the final angular velocity, the acceleration and the time. During that segment of the motion, there were 45 radians positive, meaning counterclockwise. The angular velocity that I started with, that's at the beginning, that's pure A, so that's this velocity. The final angular velocity, that's the very end, that's what I'm looking for. The angular acceleration is given to me, it's constant, but we're taking our time. And then the time is, I don't know the time, and frankly, my dear, I don't really care about the time at this point. So then these are three variables here that I know, so I can find the fourth one if I wanted to. And in this case, I don't care about the time. So the equation that I'm gonna use is the equation doesn't have the time, which is this one. So I say the final angular velocity squared is equal to the initial angular velocity squared plus twice the acceleration times the displacement. I plug in the numbers and I find the final angular velocity. So it's exactly as you've seen before with kinematics, it's the same exact story, it's just the word angular in front of everything. 